Welcome to this 30 minute workout that I'm specifically taping for the Dubai Fitness Challenge. I'm so happy that you're joining me for those exercises and we are using a TheraBand today or a resistance tubing with handles. Just pick the equipment that you have at home and I look forward to working out with you. My name is Kirsten from LiveFit Dubai and I'm a personal trainer and healthy lifestyle coach. I work particularly with ladies who are working from home and help them integrate sports and a healthy lifestyle into their busy daily lives. So let's get started with the exercises. Just take your TheraBand or tubing and fold it in half and then fold it again. So it's a little bit shorter in the beginning. Just hold the ends and make sure you have a little bit of tension on your band. Circle your shoulders backward and draw your abs in so you have a good posture. Soften your knees and then let's circle those shoulders just to warm up the shoulder girdle. Let's do two more. And one last and then relax your shoulders, extend your arms and lift your arms up. Lift your arms all the way up and behind your back. Let's add some legs. Come on your toes and go down again. Come up and go down. Inhale up, exhale down. So you see for this workout, I'm not wearing any shoes. That's perfectly fine because we're not jumping around. Let's do two more. And one last. And then come all the way down and extend your arms forward and now bend your arms and extend bend extend you have a little bit of tension on your arms but not too much because we're just warming up let's do two more and one last and then keep your arms extended draw your abs in again make sure your knees are soft and now you're turning to one side come forward change to the other side and forward again let's do four more turn as far as you can but don't move your feet last one on each side forward again lift your arms up to the ceiling and now bend your knees a little bit more draw your abs in as tight as you can and now move the band in front of your nose in front of your face Bend, extend. Exhale and extend your arms. Inhale, bend. Let's do two more. And one last and then keep your arms bent. Squat all the way down and come up. Squat all the way down, come up. So when you're squatting, it's like sitting down in a chair. So you're moving your hips backwards. Make sure you're balancing on your foot so you're not pushing your knees too far forward. It's rather a sitting down in a chair. Let's do a few more. Very dynamic movement. If you like, add some balance. Come up on your toes and down. Come on the toes. Go down. Keep breathing. Perfect. Last four. Three, two, last one, and release. Place your heels down, circle those shoulders again, and then release. Now let's open our TheraBand and step on it with both feet. So you place your feet about hip distance apart. You take the ends of your TheraBand, cross them in front of your body, and just loop the ends of the band once or twice around your hands, depending on how long your band is and how much you want to exercise in the next, yeah, in the next couple of exercises. So place your hands on your hips, stand up tall, and now we're sitting back again. So same exercise as before, that squat, push your hips back. If you wanna have a little bit more tension, just loop the TheraBand once more around your hands. Push back, come up, 
good. Last four. Three. Two. And one more, come all the way up. If you have a lot of tension, release a little bit. We're going to move one arm up and down. And the other one, extend your arm and release. Exhale, push your arm up. Inhale, let your arm down. Good. Make sure your abs are scooped in, your knees are soft. It helps when you're smiling, <laughs> shows us you're having a little bit of fun. Good, extend your arm to the ceiling, but not completely. So you don't want to lock your elbow, keep your elbow a little bit soft. Just another four, three. Get ready, we're combining the squat and that exercise. Release your arms, sit down in a squat. So push your hips back, come up, extend one arm. Release, sit back. Then the other one, come up, release, push your hips back and exhale up, inhale, bend your legs, exhale, extend that arm. Now if you want to have this exercise a little bit tougher, feel free to extend both arms. So if you want to challenge yourself, come up and push both arms up, beautiful. Last four. Good, three, make sure you're still breathing, last one, and release, shake your arms, shake your legs a little bit, and circle your shoulders, good, and release the shoulder circle again, let's place your hands again on your hips, Knees are soft, your feet are still about hip distance apart and we're going for a little walk side to side. So we're working on the side muscles of our legs and I'm just walking left and right. So you can walk a little bit further than me, I'm just walking about a mat distance left and right. But if you have more space than I have, feel free to do a couple more steps in one direction and then change. Good. Make sure when you're stepping side to side, you always have tension on your TheraBand or on your tubing. If you step too close with your feet, then you're losing the tension. We don't want that. Also, if you like to have it a little bit tougher again, circle your band once more around your hands or place your hands a little bit higher. That's fine too. We'll do a couple more steps. I'm starting to feel it in my legs. I hope you do too. Good. Last one to the left, last one to the right. Beautiful. And stay here. Shake your legs, release your arms. And then bring your hands back into the same position again. We are squatting down again. So sit back, come up and then lift one leg up to the side. Squat down again, change to the other leg. Lift the other leg up to the side. Now you already know the squat, that you're not pushing your knees forward. But when you're lifting your leg up, make sure you stand nice and tall. So you're not leaning over to the side. So you almost fall over. You keep your back straight and then just lift your leg up as high as you can. Keep breathing. Beautiful. Last four. Three. Two. And one more. And then you're all done with this exercise. Step out of your TheraBand, shake your legs, shake your arms a little bit, maybe take a deep breath in. And I think it's time now to take a little water break. So get your water, take a sip. It's always important when you're exercising that you're 
drinking after a few minutes. And then let's continue with a few arm exercises. So what we'll do next is we'll take our TheraBand double. If you're a beginner, you can also take the TheraBand just once. So you have a very long TheraBand. I'm just gonna take a double, so I have a little bit of resistance here. And we're extending our arms forward. So again, feet are hip distance apart, your abs are engaged. Now before you start with those exercises, really make sure that your, your wrist is straight, so you're not bending your wrist down or up. Really have a straight wrist, otherwise it's putting too much tension on the wrist, we don't want that. You're opening and you release. So extend your arms, bring the band in front of your chest. So the band is touching your chest and then you release. Exhale, open. Inhale to close. Exhale, extend your arms. Inhale and release. Now, if you want to have this exercise a little bit harder, just hold your hands closer together. If you want to have it a little bit easier, open your arms wider. So you choose how intense you want to work. And every couple of movements, check your wrists again. Beautiful. Last four. Three. Two. And last one. Release and shake your arms. Good. We're extending our arms up. So the arms are next to our head, next to our ears. We're squatting down a little bit. Engage your abdominals so you're not arching or rounding your back. And you really want to straighten your arms as much as you can. And from here, do the same movement. So you're extending your arms and you release. Keep breathing. So you exhale and open your arms and you inhale release. Exhale to open, inhale release. Now with this exercise really make sure that your back is straight, your head stays in line with your spine. So no moving, no moving in your head. Last four, three, two and last one and release, come all the way up. Shake your arms, shake your legs, and let's circle our shoulders again in between. Nice, release. We're doing a few exercises for our bicep now. So you step again on your band, about hip distance apart. Circle the ends around your hands again. Make sure you're not cutting the blood flow here, so don't make that too tight. Same starting position as always, shoulders back, abs are engaged. And this time, you're placing your elbows very close to your body and you, the uh, insides of your hand are pointing up towards the ceiling. Now let's bend our arms, extend. Bend your arms into a bicep curl and extend your arms again. Good, keep breathing. You want to exhale when you bend your arms. Inhale to extend. Exhale and bend. Inhale, extend. Now what's important with this exercise is when you're extending, you want to make sure that you're not extending 100%. So you're not locking your joint. You always have a little bit of a bend here. So it's a very fluid movement. Let's do two more here and then one last and then hold your arms about halfway here, about 90 degrees and just do the half distance. So go all the way up and halfway down, all the way up, halfway down. Good. Check that wrist again. Last four. Three, two, and last one, and release. Step
step out of your band. Shake your arms, shake your legs again if you like. Get another sip of water and then we're going down on the mat to do some exercises for your back and abdominals. So before you lie down on your back, take your TheraBand again and shorten it. So first double and then double it up again so you have a very short one. Hold the outer ends and then sit on your mat with your heels on the ground, toes are pointing up. Extend your arms, relax your shoulders. And now what I'd like you to do first is to circle your shoulders backwards and then round your back. So you're sliding down a little bit, you're engaging your abdominals and then come forward again and push your TheraBand over your toes. So extend your arms forward, keep your back rounded, keep your abs engaged. We're just warming up the abdominals. Exhale on your way down and inhale on your way up. So have a little bit of tension on your TheraBand, not too much. Make sure your shoulders stay relaxed and just go down as far as, as you can. Last two. Draw the abs in when you go down. Last one. And then stay here and come all the way up again. Extend your back and lean back just a tiny little bit so you feel that your abs are working, that they're engaged. And now we're doing a little bit of a turn. So you turn to one side, your TheraBand or your hand is touching the floor and you come up again. Exhale and turn. Inhale, come up. Exhale, turn. Inhale, come up. So make sure your back is still extended and you're just twisting from the lower part of your spine. If this is too much, sit up a little bit more, then it's way easier. Let's do the last four. Good, keep breathing. Two more. And last one. Come all the way up and release. So just lean forward over your legs. Take a couple of breaths here. And then let's lie down on our back. So sit up in the same position. Extend your arms if you can. And then round your back again. Slowly come down one vertebra after the other until you lie on your back. Place your feet closer to your buttocks. We'll give your abs a little break. And take our band double, so open it. And then place it right on top of your hips. You fix your band with your hands on your mat. Make sure you have tension on the band. And now we lift our hips. So you're pushing the TheraBand up. So make sure you really feel this tension on your hips. Exhale and lift your hips up. Inhale to go down. Now when you go up, push up as far as you can, really high. And on the way down, you can touch the mat with your butt. Nice. Last four. Three. If you feel your arms, that's perfectly fine. Last one, and then keep your hips up, keep them as high as you can, and do some short pulses. Push up, 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 good. Keep breathing, out, out, out. So push the air out of your mouth. Keep that tension on the TheraBand, keep your hands on the mat. Good, last eight, seven, four, three, two, stay here. Push your hips up and then release and come all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest, one after the other. Hug your knees, gently rock side to side. That's releasing any tension in your low back. 
and then place your feet down on the mat again. Shorten your theraband a little bit, extend your arms over your legs and then bring your head off the mat so your shoulder blades stay in contact with the mat but the rest of your head and the upper back is lifted. Make sure you're scooping your abs in again and then extend your arms up. So lift your head and shoulders a little bit higher. Try and push the third band towards your knees. And we'll add a little arm movement here. So when you lift up, extend your third band. So open your arms. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Now when you do this movement, make sure there is no movement here in your head. You have a little bit of a gap in between your chin and your chest and you keep that. Good. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Come all the way up again. Stay here and short pulses with the third band. Exhale, exhale. Keep your abs engaged. Keep your head and shoulders lifted. We're almost there. Last four, three, two, and release. Come all the way down, extend your legs. Beautiful, take a deep breath in and out. If you like, extend your arms overhead, stretch your abdominals. Just take a little rest break. Beautiful, now bring your arms forward again and place your feet again on the mat. We're placing our TheraBand underneath our feet. Make sure you have a little bit of tension here and your shoulders stay on the ground. Now what I'd like you to do is push your legs forward and bend them again. So extend your legs and bend. If you're a beginner, you can keep your legs a little bit higher, so push your legs towards the ceiling. If you have been exercising for a while or you like to work out a little bit harder, just push your legs further down towards the mat. Exhale and extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Now make sure you are not arching your back, so no space here in your low back. Keep your abs engaged and also with your hands. Make sure you're not doing any turns or twists with your hands. So keep your wrist straight again. Good, last four. Three. Exhale, extend. And one last. Then bring your knees into your chest and release. Beautiful, to give you a little break, we'll do a stretch here. So place your right foot down on the mat and the band around your left one. Extend your leg up, so straighten your leg as much as you can and then flex your toes. So bring your foot down so it's pointing towards your body. Your knee is extended and then draw the leg a little bit closer towards you. Feel the stretch on your calf muscles, on your hamstring. Just hold it here for a second, keep breathing and then change sides. So just bring the other one in, flex your foot again. Bring the leg as close to your body as possible. And release. All right, let's change our position. We're lying down on one side. And before you lie down, you're placing the TheraBand around your feet again. Even distance here on the TheraBand because we're taking that, those ends together. And now you can lie down on one side. So make sure you're resting your head. So you're bending your lower arm, place your head on your arm. The other one, the top arm, is holding the third band 
and you're fixing your hand on the mat. Now, make sure your legs are extended and from top to bottom you're in one line. So you're not falling backwards, you're not leaning forward, you're just straight line. Lift both legs off the mat. If that's already too much, just keep the lower one on the mat. That's perfectly fine. I'm lifting both legs up and now we're doing a movement up and down with the top leg. Abs are still engaged. Good, nice. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, do the movement with both legs. Then the top leg is pushing towards the ceiling. The lower leg is pushing down towards the mat. Exhale, push. Inhale, release. Exhale, push. Inhale, release. And like I said, if that's too much, just keep the bottom leg on the ground. Good. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Take a short break. Bend your legs. Just feel how your outer thigh muscles are relaxing again. And I will go back into the same position. So extend your legs again. This time you keep your legs together. Make sure you draw your abs in once more. And then you lift both legs up. Now that's a very short movement. It's just a couple of centimeters up and down. And you should feel your side abdominals working. Good. Exhale and lift your legs up. Inhale and bring them down again. We're almost there. I can feel it as well. Last four. Three. Two. And the very last one, release and take the TheraBand off your feet. Just lie down for a few more relaxing and energizing breaths. And then push yourself up. So you're getting onto your side. So we're going into um, a side plank for the next exercise. You're placing your elbow just underneath your shoulder. You take your TheraBand double and then double it up again. So you have a short TheraBand. Now, if you wanna take it a little bit easier, you're bending your legs and you make sure that your knees are in line with your hips and with your head. If you're a little bit more advanced, feel free to extend both legs. I'm gonna start in the beginner version. So lift your hips up. You're holding your TheraBand. So one end of the TheraBand is fixed on the ground. The other one is in the air. That's your starting position. And now very gently lift your arm up. So the top arm is doing the movement. Extend and bend. And now you can see there is not a lot of movement here in my TheraBand because it's very strong. I want to do work hard here. If that's too much for you, of course, just hold the movement. That's perfectly fine as well. I'll show you again the advanced version. So just choose whatever your level is here. Last few seconds, last four. Three, two, and release. Bring your hips down and then let's change our sides. So bring your legs over to the other side. Before you lie down, make sure you place your third band around your feet again. Even distance on both ends. Lie down. So we're bending our bottom arm again, placing our head down on that arm. Leave your hand with the TheraBand on the mat, extend your legs. Now we're lifting both legs up or if you prefer, 
just keep the bottom one on the ground. Lift up and down. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Beautiful. Good, let's add a second leg. Let's add the bottom leg. So the top leg pushes up towards the ceiling, the bottom leg pushes down towards the ground. Oh, now you can really feel your legs working. <laughs> At least I hope so. Otherwise you need a stronger fairy band. <laughs> We're almost there. Last four. Three. Two. And last one. Take a short break. Bend your legs. Release. Now let's finish off that position. Extend your legs again. Keep your legs together this time. Draw, draw your abs in and we're lifting both legs up and down. Again, it's a short movement. We're exhaling on the way up and we inhale on our way down. Nice. Last four, three, two, and last one. Release it all the way and take the fur band off your feet again. Shorten it again. Last exercise here. We're almost done. Just doing that side plank again. So. Bring your elbow just underneath your shoulder. Hold the TheraBand with both hands. You fix the lower hand on the mat and now choose which level you wanna be at. So bent legs is a little bit easier. Extended legs makes the whole thing a little bit tougher. Lift your hips up and let's get started. Extend that top arm. It's a short movement and we're exhaling every time we extend our arm. Beautiful. Last four, almost there. Three, two, last one. If you can, do another four. Let's extend that a little bit. Good, three, two, and now it's really the last one, release. Sit down and push yourself up to a seated position again. Cross your legs. Place your arms over your knees. Just take a deep breath in and out. And then circle your shoulders. Just open up your chest again. Good. Last circle. And release, sit up nice and tall and move your head side to side, left and right. Last one. And look straight forward again. Place your hands down on the ground. Take a very deep breath in and lift your arms up and exhale down. Good, let's do two more. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale down and last one. Now place your hands together at the top and on your exhale, bring your hands down in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Thank you very much for joining me for this half hour TheraBand workout. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I hope to meet you at some point during the Dubai Fitness Challenge at one of the wonderful locations we have here in Dubai.